Hey, Tubes. Jonathan's wrong here, Truth on a Budget. So just real quick, um, I was just having a thought, because the current, the current thing people want to do is defund the police, which, you know, we... <laughs> Where's the angle on this? Uh, which uh, we all know is a really, really, really bad idea. But specifically, I want people to think about, um, you know, driving around, people you know, people you see, and the fact that people don't do bad things because they don't want to get in trouble. Like, people don't do bad things because they don't want to do bad things. People don't do bad things because there's police around. You know, people don't speed because there's because there's a speed trap over there. People don't steal because, you know, they'll, they'll get in trouble. Um, the majority of people don't do bad things because they fear retribution, not because they're good people. Um, so as soon as we remove that fear of retribution, that fear that the, the only thing that keeps the most people in line is fear. If we remove that, um, it, like, I don't, I don't understand how anyone thinks that it's going to go well, you know, like I, in what area of the world would absolutely no police force work other than, you know, somewhere where there's not a lot of people and there's still a collection of people that have a sense of justice, you know, like, it, you need a, you know, a pretty, uh, you know, precise um, ingredients for it to work. Uh, try that in the city? No way, man. It's going to be like blacks versus Mexicans versus, you know, uh, Brazilians versus whites versus Chinese. It's going to, you know, it's going to go to base, base camps. People are going to, you know, it's, it's going to get so bad. I, d I don't know in what in what universe people think that like not having a uh, a police force is 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 a good idea. Um, you know, is the police or is the police force a one hundred percent good thing and non corrupt? No, but you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. If five to ten percent of the police force is corrupt, which is to be expected because that's how the world works, then work to root out that element. You don't you you don't get rid of you know I. I have personally met more nice cops than I have bad cops. And the majority of bad cops I've met have been in, in Hull, where I live, with the, the small town. You know, small town, big swinging dicks. They, you know, they're cool in high school, and they, they want to keep being cool, so they become a cop in their small town. You know, that's, that's what happens. Uh, in, you know, in, in larger areas, people become police because they, they, they have a sense of justice. All the all the nice cops I've ever met have been like in the uh, 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 in the city. Two of them have been black, also, by the way. Um, so there's you know I don't you know this whole racism thing. This whole it's just like you know I mean, I you know you know people are gonna be oh it's a white dude talk about racism blah 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 blah. I've experienced racism, and uh, black racism is scary. All right, when you when you drive into the wrong area and a, and a bunch of dudes start walking up to your car, it's scary. Okay, um, white ris uh, white racism is what someone calls you the N word, you know, tells you to get out or something, tells you your 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 kind isn't welcome here. Um, when I've experienced uh, black racism, I felt as if my my life was in danger. <laughs> More than you know, my uh, me uh, me uh, me being personally insulted, uh, I felt like I might die if if uh, if I don't leave. So little little different, but anyway, um, you know, like I said, you know, as as far as any you know, as any racism I have seen, it's it's harmless, pointless, like oh, dumb n words or whatever. And it's like, what are you talking about, dude? It's like, oh, it's not all of them. It's just you know, it's like, well, then don't then don't use that word, you know? <laughs> like it's not a it's, it's not a real thing. Uh, people are always going to think that their race is, is better than, than, than every other race. Look at the Italians, you know, and like, and like, and like, and like, they haven't done a damn thing in over 2000 years, you know, and they, they're still really proud about being Italian, you know, and the, the, the glory of Rome was a very long time ago. Heck, the, uh, the, uh, the Greeks, uh, uh, kept it going longer, and they don't. You don't hear the uh, Greeks being all, you know, being proud of being a, uh, you know, Byzantines. But anyway, um, main point of this is uh, we all lose if there's no police force. It's not going to be good.
Uh, the what's going to happen is it's going to be like roving gangs. People are going to stick together and within their own races and within their own kind. Like I. I want to hear what these crazy Black Lives Matter people think of like what is going to happen when there's no police. Like, what do you? Where's the camera? Is it? Is that it? What do you think is going to happen when there's no police? Are Are you going to be safer? Is everyone going to be safer? Like, what is the what is the long term goal here? Please. Um, as far as you know, the uh, the the uh, controllers go. It's obvious. Order out of chaos. They're going to remove the police force. It's going to be bedlam. And then they're going to bring in the military who are already here. The military is already here. They just happen to be here. What a coincidence. So they're already here. They're already stationed. I, I personally see them moving around. I've seen them in Weymouth. I've seen them in Hingham. What the hell is the military doing in Hingham? Um, I've seen them all over the place. And um, they're already here. They're good to go. They're, they're, they, they got body armor. They got their they got their combat vehicles. Um, I'm guaranteed they got they got their weapons and their and their munitions, um, and they're good to go. So that's that's what's going to happen. You're going to have no police. It's going to suck for like a couple weeks, a month, however long they they want us to suffer. They'll let us suffer, and then they'll come in with the uh, with the military, and it's going to be whole new world. It's going to be a whole new world after that. I mean, it's probably going to happen anyway. So, you know, be be prepared. As far as stockpiling food and stuff, I don't even know. Because, you know, like, someone could just come and take it, you know? I don't even know. Um, I don't even know how we're going to do anything. But it's going to suck. So all I know is it's going to suck, you know? And they're going to let it happen. And, the peop- and once again, the people are going to ask for it. They're going to make it happen, and then they're going to ask to be saved. They, you know, like everything that the controllers are doing, the masses are going to beg for, and it's perfect. They're going to beg for it. They're going to beg for the the uh, the uh, control to come back. They're going to beg for there to be more control. They're whatever 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 they bring in is going to be just a little bit better than the horror we were suffering prior to that and that's what you do you make things a little bit worse i mean sorry you 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 make things worse and then you make them a little better and then they get a little worse every every single time you're going you're going you're going two steps backwards one step forward every single time but people are dumb so all they acknowledge is that is that one step forward that that one little improvement from from you know from the the last thing because people have short memories that's all they remember they don't remember like how it used to be, you know, years ago when it was better. Before, you know, they started clicking, you know, you know, you know, you know uh, taking everything back from us, taking our rights and our freedoms and you know our our uh, our our liberties as living beings, you know. But um, it's I don't <laughs> I don't. Once again, for the thousandth time, I don't understand what these dumb monkeys are thinking, and that's not a racist thing. I call all all people monkeys because you because y'all think you're monkeys on a ball, which is a riot to me. You're you're dancing monkeys on a ball, just just like the uh, just like the circus, just like just like they want you to be. But anyway, you know the 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 masses are gonna beg for it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it themselves. They're gonna they're gonna be their own destruction you know they're you know they've been out there for years you know trying to trying to stop um uh you know free speech you know going out and um going out in the streets to try to stop free speech it's you know these these are the people these this is it this is this is the black horse all right the uh the uh the uh, the, uh, the rise of the black horse is coming and once again, that has nothing to do with skin color. Roll my eyes. That has that has to do with the four horsemen. In my opinion, um, I don't know if the horsemen are actually, you know, singular people or if they're forces. Um, but I know that one of them, 
you know, one, one force, one, one, one major thing that's going to have to happen is the people are going to have to uprise in a bad, ugly way. They've been doing it for a long time. You know, French Revolution, horrible, disgusting, awful. Uh, nothing good uh, came out of the French Revolution. Um, and how they conducted it was disgusting. What they did was disgusting. And the whole world suffered from it, and it, uh, all the all the uh, monarchs from all the world crumbled after that, and we and we were worse off. The world became a worse place, and that just that's just. But but they'll tell us it's better, you know. You know how many uh, you know how many times have you uh, been in an argument with a person who's a uh, who's into scientism, and they're like, well, I don't know, I like uh, I like penicillin. And it's like, uh, yeah, penicillin was discovered. No one invented it. It was discovered. It was already here. <laughs> no one made it. It was already here. Um, so you know, people just people are just un, people are just stupid, really. I I not even not even a matter of of uneducated. People are just dumb. Uh, thinking is hard, so they don't want to do it. They'd rather have someone else do it for them. Uh, they they'd rather put all their trust into 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 someone else because. You know, thinking and feeling is too difficult, and uh, they'd rather get back to vegging out and uh, watching their TV or like whatever, because that's easy. They want to do what's easy. Everyone, everyone would rather do what is easier. Um, that's just the way it is. You know, no one, no one wants the hard path. Once again, this is for this is a Blaken statement. Not, I'm not talking about you guys. We take the hard path every day, but anyway, um, you know. The, the, the end result of, de of, of defunding the police is going to be murder in the streets. It's going to be really, 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 really ugly. Uh, racism is going to get worse. Um, it's going to get, everything is going to get worse. Nothing will get better. Because like I, like I opened up with, people aren't, don't do, you know, people don't avoid doing bad things because they're good people. People avoid doing bad things so they don't get in trouble. You see it driving all the time. People, you know, uh, my my favorite example is, um, you know, the other day, and and I see this all the all the time, and it, and it enrages me. A cop will go by, and everyone stops for, for the cop. But a uh, when when an ambulance goes by, no one stops because no one's going to get in trouble. They don't care about the person possibly bleeding out inside of the ambulance or the or where the ambulance is going they just know that they don't have to stop because they're not going to get in trouble whereas a police officer where they're probably heading off to go bust someone you know some some kids smoking weed or you know or you know or drinking in the woods or something or doing something harmless they're 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 hauling ass to get there and you better get out of the way because you don't want to get in trouble all right that's how people operate people don't do bad things because they don't want to get in trouble so once you remove that element of, of, of retribution, of getting in trouble, people are going to do whatever they want. That, that's, that's literally 80 plus percent of people are, are just weak, bad, self-centered people. Sorry. Sucks. Scary thought, but it's the way it is. So expect that. Look, look, look for that when they finally get, you know, defund the, the police and the riots that have no business in the friggin' suburbs, reach the suburbs, um, you know, hunker down. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I have no good news. <laughs> Stay strong in the Lord. That's about it. Um, love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day and God bless you.